This morning we had the incredible privilege to begin Maseches Psochim. And the Gemara says something amazing. And that based on the Olive, page 2a. Am Rav Yehuda, Am Rav. Rav Yehuda is the name of Rav. Li Olam, Yekanis Adam Bikitov, V'yetze Bikitov. Literally, it's translated, a person should enter in Bikitov, it was good, and should leave Bikitov, should leave, and it was good as well. What does this mean? So Rashi explains, Kitov is a reference to the creation of light, to the creation of day. Because after all, when HaKadosh Baruch Hu created the light and He created day, the Pasuk says, Vayalukim Kitov, God saw that it was good. And therefore, Rabbi Yehud is teaching us an incredible lesson, that when you are traveling on a journey, you should check into your lodgings, Bikitov. Check into your lodgings before nightfall, while it's still daylight outside. And soon the next morning when you set out, set out on your journey, wait to set out, after first light. So check in while it's still daytime before nightfall. And when you leave the next day, wait to travel until after first light, until after daybreak. And on a basic level, Rashi explains this is a very utilitarian piece of advice. Rav Yehuda is teaching us, avoid danger. It's dangerous to travel at night, so if you're traveling, check into your lodgings, check into the hotel, check into the motel, wherever you're staying, check in while it's still daybreak. And the next morning, instead, of, it's always good to get an early start, but if you start out too early before there's any light, you run the risk of encountering danger. Therefore, wait a little bit until daybreak, and therefore you will travel safely. But on a deeper level, Rabbi Huda is teaching us such an incredible life lesson. Because you see, dear friends, we're all on a journey. All of us are on a journey. It's called life. Life is an incredible journey. And that journey kind of takes on different forms for different people. For some of us, the journey is one long journey that starts from when we're born until 120. Many of us go through multiple different journeys. Some of them spanning a couple of days, a couple of weeks, a couple of months, a couple of years. For others, every day is its own distinct journey. But whether you have a short journey or a long journey, the recipe for success is always the same. Whenever I set out to accomplish something in life, I must have clarity. Clarity of where I'm going, where I'm going, what I want to accomplish, and why I want to go there and accomplish it. Clarity of vision. Why, where do I want to go? And why do I want to go there? Because so many times in life, we start out on a journey and we lose our way. We lose our purpose. You know, a person might set out with a goal to be, have a successful career. And you'll ask them when they're young and idealistic, why do you want to have a successful career? Well, I want to use my career because I want to impact society. I want to impact my community. I want to make millions of dollars because I want to change the world with those resources. I want to be an incredible Baltstaka. And then what happens? It's easy to lose your way and suddenly... It all becomes about making money. It all becomes, the change is gone. The goals, idea, the aspirations are gone. And suddenly it just becomes a very base drive for material wealth. And this is true in everything in life. Right? A person thinks before a person is in the stage when they're looking to get married. So a person imagines, I'm going to get married. I'm going to build a life with someone. I'm going to give my entirety to that person. I'm children. I'm going to bring them into the world and inspire them and raise them in a home filled with kedusha. And then I find my bashert, and then I bring children into the world. And the truth is, I'm running everywhere and anywhere, barely spending quality time, barely giving of myself to them. And then when I am home, I'm too tired to make the home filled with kedusha. I'm too tired to give to my spouse. I'm too tired to inspire my children. So we set out on a journey with incredible clarity. I know what I want to do, and I know why I want to do it. And sometimes, that clarity just dissipates over the course of the journey of life. And that's what Rabbi Yehud is coming to teach us. Li'olam yikanis adam bikitov, v'yetze bikitov. Rabbi Yehud is saying, end the journey. Li'olam yikanis. Enter and end the journey the same way you start it. The same way that you start a journey. Yetze bikitov. We always start the journey with clarity. When I start out, I know what I want to do. I know why I want to do it. I know how I have to do it. So Rabbi Yehuda says, don't just start the journey with clarity. End the journey with clarity as well. Make sure you maintain your life clarity as to where you want to go, what you want to do, and why you want to go there and do it every step of the way. And I think this is an incredible yisod. Because as I mentioned before, 
So often we start out with the clarity, but then life happens, and the direction remains the same, but I no longer have the same clarity of purpose. It's kidai sometimes to take a step back in life and to ask myself, where am I going? Where am I going? Okay, I know which direction I'm going. Why am I going there? What, what, what is my life goal? What is the purpose? This cheshpana nefesh is so incredibly important because sometimes the direction could be good, but a direction without clarity doesn't yield the same level of life results. The Amarav Yehuda Amarav, the Olam Yikhanis Adam Bikitov, the Yetze Bikitov. Start your life journeys with clarity and make sure that clarity follows you every step of the way. Wishing everyone a wonderful day.